kick ass. I am now a playable Cutthroat Caverns character. Pretty sure. That's yeah. what I thought. Yeah. yeah. The, the, the real punchline <laughs> is, though, that um, this is the third year in a row that she has. So she's just the a psychic. It's good when you try to do something and you manage to get it. Yeah. Yeah. Down. I would have just dunked him. All right, okay. Been... <laughs> totally. Shall we? Let's. All right. And we'll see you at your friendly local game store. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Painting Happy Little Minis. Uh, I'm Dave. And I'm Natasha. Woohoo! Natasha is back <laughs> joining us again. Uh, it's so been a while. It been has a been bit. a while. Yeah. Yep. Uh, but I'm here filling in for Gretchen, who is not here. Who is not here today. <laughs> She's not anywhere in the building. Nope. At all. But uh, you may have seen Natasha, aka Cannondoll X. Yep. At uh, on Previews World in uh, Toy Chest. Uh, previews toys. Toy Chest, Talking Toys, and Indie Edge. So much stuff. So much so stuff. stuff. <laughs> I'm not bored. No, that's, this is true. That's really this it. This is true. <laughs> and, and people will also have seen you uh, at... Um, Charm City Roller Derby. Charm City Roller Derby. Which I have a championship yeah. game actually coming up October 13th. October, excellent. Mm -hmm. Whereabouts is that? Uh, it is in Dundalk. Uh, okay. So not that far from here. For some, yeah, it's just close. across the bay. Yeah, super yep. close. And um, it's going to be my team, which I'm captain of, uh, the Dundalk Deviants versus the Hamden Huns. Okay. And nice. uh, we are undefeated. So if we lose, it's going to look really bad. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be bad. But, um, but yeah, it is, the, is, is the championship game ending our home season completely. So. I'm pretty excited, and it's yeah, it's October 13th. It's on a Sunday. It's usually on a Saturday, but it's on a Sunday. Excellent. And um, we'll have Charm City Mead Works there, uh, you know, filling the thirst of everybody. They and uh, probably a great halftime. I don't know what it is yet, but you can go to charmcityrollerderby.com to, to get out. tickets and find out more. Yeah. Awesome. That'll yeah. be super cool. It's going to be really cool. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm like hardcore training, and like my body hurts right now sitting here. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm not traveling that weekend. Hey. Mm, I might have to come and see some roller great. derby. It's been ages since I'm into roller derby. But uh, anyway, uh, yes. enough about uh, awesome racing around track on roller skates, <laughs> knocking yeah. people over. We're going to be painting some D&D miniatures today. We so, are. Uh, from Gale Force 9, uh, we have some of the stuff from there, a new uh, Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus um, minis. So we have... I hear it's a decent travel. <laughs> decent? <laughs> Did I, say, I didn't say decent. No, Avernus, no, no. I? <laughs> no. I, some I hashtags some, are spelled incorrectly, and some, somebody said decent, decent. into Avernus. All right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was kind of fun. <laughs> nice. Nice. So uh, who are you going to be painting? Uh, I'm going to be pa painting a Silveria Savatia. Wait, sorry. Sav I'm not so good with the letters. Savikas. <laughs> Savikas. I there you go. Savikas. Not to be confused with ceviche. This is true. Right, yeah. Yes. And um, so I'm painting her, and then I'm also painting... This little guy I chose, just in case, if I do have time, I'm painting the little, like, um, griffin. Looking. Slobber chops. Slobber chops. Is it slobber chops? Yeah, slobber, slobber chops. chops. Yep, slobber chops is a mean-looking tresson yeah. with a bobtail and numerous battle scars. Tresson are intelligent like it looks felines. Really cute. Yeah, it does. <laughs> looks like it'll knock a lot of people off their cliff or something, but it's still really cute. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be nice. Yeah. Nice. And I'm going to be painting Thavius Krieg, the treacherous high overseer of Alturel. I probably mispronounced that, <laughs> but um, Durrell, entered, uh, who entered into an infernal bargain with the Archdevil Zariel, Ooh. ruler of Avernus. This guy's pretty evil. I could, I could tell he was evil mm -hmm. from that terrible green skin that he's got. Hey, don't judge a ghoul by its cover. <laughs> <laughs> no. It was also the extra hands. And no, yeah. to, to, to be honest, it's shifty. The, he had shifty eyes. It's the, the mustache and the Van Dyke. Oh, yeah. 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 Evil. Definitely up to no good. He probably has a really, like, a nice twin in a different. Right. Kind of <laughs> in another plane. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we're going to be painting those today. Uh, we're also giving away uh, one These. of each of those things. Yeah. 
so have the uh, Zaharl. These, and we have, oh, this also, this we also big have mini. Zariel. Zariel. So yeah, if I, if I manage to get uh, Savius Krieg and Lulu, there you go. That's who is a holophant. There we go. Yep. I've managed to get them painted uh, it's today. Cool I'll actually be getting stuck into this Zariel. Yep. But and, these are the uh, ones you can win. Bring Zariel together. These are the ones over here. And you have to use, uh, all you have to do is enter in the hashtag Avernus into the comments, uh, wherever you're watching this. Uh, Enter that in in the comments, and then you're entered to win. That's it. You are. Yep. That's it. And uh, after the Nothing show, crazy and no, Johnny yeah. will be uh, selecting somebody randomly. Some uh, selecting some random person. Random. Rando. Rando. Yeah. Random, <laughs> random person off the streets. Yes, off, off the, the streets. streets, or someone who actually used a hashtag. Yep. We'll see. I mean, you Pro know. probably the hashtag thing. Yeah, yeah probably. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but Johnny will be selecting that, and uh, we'll be posting that on the uh, Facebook page after mm -hmm. the show. So, uh, awesome. I hi? just want to say a quick hello on Twitch to Legends of, um, M oh, can I cannot speak today. Is it Legends Avantress. of Avantress? Um, yep. those are actually friends of mine. They do awesome, awesome role playing, um, show on their channel, and it's oh, super cool. fun. Like, great DD, some of their own, um, their own campaigns too. They're Excellent. a really great group of human beings, and they're really fun. Hi, guys. Thanks for being hello. here. Thanks yeah. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, who do we Very have cool. in the Facebook chat, too? Oh, we're already getting that hashtag plugged in. I love it. Excellent. Cool, cool. I say, we got a lot of people in here. We got Garrett and Sarah, Michael, Richard, um, Joshua, Thomas, Keith. I'm just going to read everybody's name and say hello. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, One and Chiros is here, too. Excellent. Hey, Drew. Seth, Dave, and also Dave. Hey, Dave. Um, and that is everyone's names that Did are Did we here. get Michael? Yeah, Michael's in there. And the other Michael. Yep. Michaels, Michaels and Michaels. Excellent. And more Michaels. I think there's a couple of Sarahs. Seth. Yeah. Thanks for being here, everybody. And we also say so hi excited. to Walt and Kat, who are on yeah. YouTube. Yep. And Dave Moffat. Hey. I'm sorry you misspelled Avenus there, Dave. <laughs> it's not my fault. Tell them that it was my fault. It's it totally was Leona's fault. fault. Leona's fault. Just so you know, <laughs> she is to blame. <laughs> It's A-V-E-R-N-U-S. You can do it. As seen on the box. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, awesome. I would not know how to spell it. <laughs> or apparently today, read it. Read so, it. Nice. yeah. Like Paul I've, said, all words are made up. That's right. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Well, yeah, I have a little dyslexia, too. So when you put some of these letters together, it's my yeah. brain doesn't know how to process it. It wants to say something else entirely. <laughs> right. Nice. All right. Do you find um, that uh, different fonts affect it oh, yeah. as well? Oh, yeah. Totally. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like, I had a really hard time uh, my whole life. I couldn't say um, exhibition. Okay. Like, if I had to read it, yeah. I couldn't say it. And then it became such a thing that, like, it took me a long time to just even say it because I kept trying to read it and it wouldn't work. Same with right. magazine for okay. some reason. I couldn't. It took me a long time. I was probably maybe 10 years old before I could say magazine. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That was really weird. I have to ask you some <laughs> questions afterwards about so, different so, fonts, to, so, fonts to avoid using because I, yeah, do right. of, uh, I work with a lot of different I fonts. Read. So. I mean, I can read it in my head, but it's far as like being able to say it out loud. Like I can read what yep. that is, but it's like processing <laughs> it and getting it to come out of my mouth correctly. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little tricky. I mean, nice. ask Johnny when he works with me with uh, Cotabakia. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get it right or that time? Be so Jew. <laughs> yeah. Wrong. <laughs> that was a really fun filming day, let me just tell you. <laughs> that took That took far too, uh, uh, we have too much time. We have a different definition of the word fun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> it was a challenging day. Let's just put it that a challenging way. Challenging day. Yeah. Nice. It provided for great bloopers. It really did. It really did. It's really great when Johnny puts together a blooper reel and you're the majority of the bloopers. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, um, maybe I should That's practice good. more. Yeah. yeah. I've gotten a little better, I think. I think mostly. I have a feeling that when I hope so. <laughs> Leona puts together the previously on oh, gosh. sections, that, yeah. that she just goes through and, and she looks for where I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's, a, that's the one that I pointed out. I was like, what are you doing with your face there, Dave? He's yeah. like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We could just take five seconds of baking faces, and then she can use that for later. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, I think when you, get, when you get a face like this, you got to steer into it, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Just accept <gasps> it and own it. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, buddy. Awesome. <laughs> cool. Oh my gosh. Let's nice. See. So, what are you going to start with? Uh, I'm going to start with her because she's so complicated. Um, yep. He's going to be like a bonus. Like if I can get to it, great. Right. Um, you know, I'm used to being on the show when we only had an hour. Yeah. So it was like a lot of <laughs> pressure. I can't. I can't talk to you right now. I got to paint. <laughs> so now I feel like I can take a little more time and details because she's really got in the bottom of her gown here. She's got like some lines. So as right. if you know, if you've got like um, you could have like a different brocade going up on the back or things like that. I just saw her and um, I really just dug her costume. Yeah. Like, I make costumes, so like. For me, I'm like, mm, I'm gonna paint this how I would want to maybe maybe make it for myself. Okay, cool. Kind of thing, and but yeah, super detailed. And she's got her little buddy there too, and then she's holding a book, and it yeah. looks like um, some kind of. I mean, I'll look here to really know what it is, but I was gonna say she almost looks like she's holding some kind of a weapon, but it's like a. I was like a, a ball on the end of a rope. It was maybe like a. Um... And her little goblin dude is like hanging on to it, and right. yeah, she's just really cool and really intricate. She looks kind of demon like. So that's kind of fun, which I guess she is. That that um, is it. Maybe that, like a fantasy uh, yo-yo that she's got there. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Uh, sure. She's got the golden apple kind of thing, which you know is kind of cool. Be like, yeah. a, I think nice. like Assassin's Creed, the Apple of Eden, which controls the free will. You know, which she's a demon, so that <laughs> could you know play along that could with work. it. Yeah, 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 for sure. So definitely. Yeah, so I'm gonna, starting um, there. I'm gonna start with uh, Thavius Krieg. He's got this really cool um, skin tone, which is not completely green and not completely yellow. Mm -hmm. um, little brown shading. So I'm going to mess around with some of the contrast paints and mm -hmm. do some different um, layers. Uh, sorry, just like it. <laughs> Johnny's doing things randomly in the background. And... Hey, ignore the guy behind the camera. <laughs> just FYI. Um, just Johnny just did a little <laughs> dance <laughs> to also make sure we mention Gale Force 9. Because and, you know, when you do it with a dance, it's like maybe he rolled like a D3 on that, and that's why he had to do a ridiculous I dance failed to my give the. Check. He did, yep. he did. He failed the roll, and now he had to do a dance while he gave us information. <laughs> and it wasn't just a fail, it was a critical fail. I wish we could turn the camera on him right no, now. Like, no, no one wants to see that. It was a critical fail. <laughs> it was a critical <laughs> fail. But anyway. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> the, the, the best part is that he wanted to show us a sign that said, uh -huh. mention Gale Force 9. Yes, yes. And, and the contest. But we also have a sign on the chair in front of us that says, <laughs> don't forget to mention Gale Force 9 and the contest. <laughs> well, clearly the low tech wasn't working, but we appreciate the dance. <laughs> <laughs> Winner. I'm, I'm gonna yeah. Go Excellent. Yeah, so how things, how things going? We've got... Uh, we got uh, Richard is in here now, Garrett, James. Hi, everybody. That's over on Facebook. And then we got Mike G on YouTube and Gary. You already said hi to Dave. And let's see. Yeah. Uh, well, the light is right behind the screen, so it's a little hard. Um, We've got Jenna Toro on Twitch. Toro. Just got home the Space Goblins by the Nightmare Miniatures Kickstarter. Going to be fun to paint. Oh, that's oh, fantastic. fun. Space Goblins. They sound awesome. Good. Putting down this first layer of, of yellow. I think I like this brush. It's reminding me of um, there's a character from Sin, Sin City. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't remember who played him. Oh, the yellow. Oh, the, the bad think, guy. Yeah. Yeah, you think I would know that. I can't think of anything right now, apparently. Uh, I, love, I love Sin City. You know, I just did yeah. the um, Know Your Heroes segment where you, um, okay. it was like five, of the toughest heroes in comics, and I got to talk about Mar from Sin City, oh, awesome. which was really exciting for me because I also got to talk about Batman. So it was like <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> hitting hitting all my points right. there. Nice. Um, but yeah, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. This guy who was uh, punished for bad things we won't say on here because this yep. can be a family friendly show. But um, yeah, and his whole skin turned yellow. Yep. And I think that this is the exact shade of that. Mm -hmm. So we'll start with that yellow. And then we're going to thin down some of this um, plague bearer flesh color, mm -hmm. which is kind of a dirty green. I think that's going to work really nicely to uh, to 
to get his green skin tone going on. Let's see. Oh, Rick's on. Hey, Rick. What's up, dude? I was just chatting with Rick this morning. Aw. Definitely cool. It's a good human, that one. Yep. He's getting all prepped for... Uh, his, his adventure. The huge adventure, which is going to be great. cool. I do not like this brush. No? Nope. You're fired, brush. These big things. What am I going to mm. do with these? Um, is that so I just like decide to go, oh, screw it, I don't have enough time? Yeah. just do the whole thing? Exactly. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Definitely the best way to do it. Uh, there you go. I'm like, I can't see all the other brushes. Here we go. Try this one. Oh, cool. Oh, if you can get that top off. <laughs> oh, jeez. Holy moly. It's not a trick. If this were at home, I would just use my mouth to pull this off. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Thank you. No worries. Is that one a little bit better? Yeah. Definitely picks up the paint a lot better, too. Yep. There we go. But, uh, That's the hard part. <laughs> Forget about paint, you know, painting when you're on camera painting versus when you're painting when you're not is at home a lot of times, I mean, let me be honest here, a lot of times at home when I do just about anything, I make sound effects because... Right. <laughs> Especially, it's really funny when we're skating and we're training and we're doing um, certain moves where we're warming up and it's kind of like we're slaloming and so I make big swishy noises. Okay. Like I'm in snow. <laughs> I go, whoosh, 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 whoosh. Nice. And everyone laughs at me and I was like, yeah, but you know what? I'm actually moving better and it's funner and <laughs> or more fun, correctly. But um, at home, I'll totally be like, beep, 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 beep. Nice. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Because it, like, helps. That is funny, though. At least I think it helps. <laughs> That's cool. Gets in those little creases and stuff. This is kind of an odd odd one here. Because when I painted I'm around right his... i here. Um, well... I can hear you. <laughs> Shh, I, didn't, I didn't realize it was coming out, out loud. It was That's all your outside voice, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> But this miniature is also yes, an odd yeah, one. The miniature, okay. yeah. <laughs> Where um, when I painted him, I thought that this was uh, like a um, what do you call it? Like a shirt. Mm. Is it his neck? It's his neck. Oh, he's got a, that wonderful roll. It's very of Java fat of him. And the uh, thing there. So let's get in and paint that. A little bit of extra there. Now, I have been uh, thinning this down a little bit with the uh, the contrast medium. Mm -hmm. So I still get a nice sort of smooth finish, but it's not too intense. Mm -hmm. um, or at least the shading isn't too intense. Because yeah. when I put the, shade, the, the next one on, that's going to shade it as well. So I didn't want to have it go See, too, like too dark too quickly. Yeah. yeah. So you have a little room to play with it. Yeah. That's and really the, cool. And I think. Oh. Yeah, it did have a. That's an old movie. It's not that old. What's that one? <laughs> Talk about Sin City. <laughs> it's not that old. <laughs> and Bruce, yes, Bruce Willis was in it. Jessica Alba. A lot, a lot of great people. Yep. Um, Elijah Wood. A lot of people. A lot of good stuff. I love it. I love Sin City. Yep. I love the comics too. And not not Gerard Butler. No. But who am I thinking? The other actor I always confuse. With, with Gerard, Gerard Butler? Butler? Yeah. I don't know that I can answer that. Somebody's gonna come up with it. Or I can, <laughs> can get Johnny to check on IMDB. <laughs> who in place of <laughs> Gerard Butler? <laughs> I, it's, I'm going to feel really bad now. <laughs> I feel really bad because I didn't say the character's name. I feel like I lost a Sin City nerd card oh, okay. a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I love that. It is good. Super, really cool. yeah. Rosario Dawson, I mean. Yep. You could go on and on. There's so many great people in that movie. Um. 
Did you say Mickey Rourke? Clive Owen. Clive Owen, there we go. That's yeah. who you're talking about. That is. I was just thinking of Rosario Dawson <laughs> and then the whole scene of him and this is my Valkyrie and, you know, all that yep. went through my head. Hey, Valkyrie. Uh, nice. <laughs> with your hand. And I was like, oh, Clive Owen. Clive That's Owen. probably who you were thinking. That is exactly yeah. who I was thinking of. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> But you can see how occasionally, I had it. Yeah. occasionally yeah. I can confuse Clive Owen for a Gerard Butler. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you know, they both have an accent. Yep. You know. maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe I just don't watch, I don't watch yeah. <laughs> movies anymore. I just listen to them while I'm painting. Oh, that's a good point. But, uh, but one is English and one is Scottish. It is true. But they can do different accents in movies. What? <laughs> I've, I've been watching a, um, a great series mm -hmm. of um, videos on uh, Wired, Wired's mm -hmm. YouTube channel, mm -hmm. uh, on uh, basically with a linguistics coach talking about yes. how. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're great, aren't they? Definitely fantastic. Talking about how well. Uh, Different actors have pulled off either accents or mm -hmm. um, the specific ideologue. Yeah, I think it's called like the dialect. Um, yeah, so uh, an ideologue is uh, something is the specific speech pattern of an individual. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of things like um, so actors that are playing people like the Queen mm -hmm. or JFK or. Nixon, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. But uh, yeah, fantastic series. Cool, I'll have to check that out. Yep. I like that kind of stuff. Definitely cool. I went with the blue and I feel like I got lost in it. Locked with the blue? <laughs> like yeah. I got lost in the blue. Oh, <laughs> I was like, okay. I'm just going to keep going. I'm just gonna, <laughs> everything's going to be blue. That's I kind of cool. wanted to give her a contrast like with the blue. I'm doing just the base. Right. With the blue, and then I figured I'd kind of go over it with a um, a little bit of a purple. Okay. And yeah. then, um, and then this particular race is usually red. Yep. So, um, you know, obviously, the I'll probably make a red. Yeah. Or I could be, you know, a rebel and make an entirely different color. You could. Yeah. Um, it is your miniature now. That's right. It's mine. No, it's mine. mine. It's mine. It's precious. <laughs> Uh, what models are each of us painting? I am painting Thavius Krieg. <laughs> so I'll hold it up so that you can't see. Oh, yeah. It's too far away. Oh, can't there see us? Go. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> this there one. <laughs> yeah, and I'm, um, and you say that one again. I'm not even going to, I'm not going to try it. <laughs> so virus, mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. There we go. How's that? Has there ever been a Nixon mini? Oh, I don't Maybe. know. Maybe. It seems like there would be, yeah. but, you know, maybe not. Back in the 80s, uh, Games Workshop made uh, some harpy models, mm -hmm. which are very sort of um, Ray Harryhausen style harpies. Mm -hmm. uh, and two of them that they sculpted, one of them looked like Mag Margaret Thatcher, uh -huh. and one looked like uh, Ronald Reagan. Oh, wow. So. I definitely suspect that there's, there's something a, out there. There's a Nixon miniature floating around. I'd be very surprised if there wasn't. <laughs> now on the um, on his cloak or his robe here, mm -hmm. it's it's kind of brown, so he's wearing lots of browns. Mm -hmm. So he's a little bit a little bit dull. So I'm going to sort of pop it up a little bit by mixing some. Purple. Nice. Purple into God, the brown. You so fast. It's like you do this every week or something. Almost. <laughs> almost Meanwhile, I'm like, almost every day. Hey, cool! I got <laughs> some paint on her shirt. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I'm like, this is a four-hour show, right? <laughs> 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 I'll eventually be done. We paint until you're finished. That's right. You don't leave until you're done. <laughs> And the best part is we recycle all of the jokes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, at about, um, you know, the hour or two, suddenly that we go right back to the beginning of everything we said. Yep. That would be terrible. And everyone will just it? feel like the <laughs> video's on loop. 
But somehow they've yep. painted so much. Yep. Looking through. Oh, Walter said, uh, suggestion for the box, next giveaway, paintbrushes. Ooh. Mm, I'll have to talk about that. We could probably arrange that. Uh, he also asked, have there ever been, oh, sorry, you yeah, already that's read that one. Read. Yeah. Yep. Somebody said they, oh, they have a, uh, I'm not going to say that, a Nixon is Superman, <laughs> uh, but it's a patch. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> Because if somebody tunes in at the wrong time, we're like, what is going on? Out of context. Yeah. Somebody soundbite that. Well, you just know that that'll be the part that uh, Leona chooses. Right? Yeah. For uh, the previously <laughs> on. Great. If you're like, hey, cool, we can never have Natasha on here again. <laughs> <laughs> Her foul mouth. Terrible. You were just reading the chat. I was. There we go. So I think by mixing in the the brown here, it's um, trying to get oh, so you can see a little bit more. It's very uh, it's really desaturated mm -hmm. the uh, purple. So it's a nice sort of base that I'll be able to work up from with some more saturated purple. Um, I had to leave the watch party to ask: Are you two using a cookie sheet for your paint? Does it keep it from sticking? Uh, Can you say about yours? Oh, talking about mine. I have a uh, so I have a wet palette here. This is the uh, Red Grass Games uh, wet palette that looks like this. Usually comes without all the stickers on it, but uh, yeah. So there's a layer of uh, parchment paper and a uh, foam that holds the uh, water. Oh, I was wondering about that. I always and thought it was. Also, like a little, I mean, obviously like a yep. crafting tray, but I always thought it was just a piece of um, like wax paper, and that was it. No, it's um, it's it, it is different. It, yeah, it's not wax paper, mm -hmm. um, but more Ooh. like more like parchment paper, That's where the the water can can come through. Mm -hmm. So it can keep it keeps the paint on the wet palette hydrated mm -hmm. a little bit longer. Um, do you have any other purples? Uh, I do. One. A nice, there's a nice rich purple there. Thank you. Or a nice dark purple, but uh, yeah. So that's um, that's what I'm using here. Uh, there are a couple other companies as well that make uh, wet palettes. Um, our, actually, our friends at uh, the Army Painter have just announced their wet palette, uh, which will be launching soon. I think they're taking pre-orders for it now. Uh, but that looks uh, looks very cool as well. Hopefully, we'll be able to get one in and we can show that off. But yeah, and a quick reminder: we're doing a give giveaway from <laughs> Gale Force Nine. All you have to do to enter is wherever you're watching, enter the hashtag hashtag Avernus. That's A V E R N U S. Yep. <laughs> and uh, that's it. All you have to do is comment at, at the end of the show after the show. You will be picked if you're the winner and notified, and you can win this, 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 and this. Hooray! Excellent. Are we, do you know if we're giving it all away to one person? We are giving it all away to one person. How awesome is that? That is pretty awesome. That's super cool. That's nice. I know I always love the giveaways on the show, and I'm always so mad that I can't win. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, come on! Well, you get to keep Savara. So I do. The other minis that um, that I've yep. painted, well, two of the other minis I've painted on the show uh, sit on my desk at home. Oh, awesome. Very cool. Yeah. Along with my other collectibles. And then the one mini that I painted when I um, when I had my foot, foot surgery, uh, right. Rick had given me a couple of pieces and I painted this cool little um, privateer, pirate yep. woman. And um, that also sits on my desk. Actually, no, that one sits in my toddler's room. Okay. Because she loved it, and she tried <laughs> to steal my um, owl bear, right. but I wouldn't let her. You wouldn't let her. Have Both that. of my daughters tried to steal my owl bear. <laughs> and, Obviously, uh, good taste then. Yeah, and I was like, nope, that sits on my desk. It sits next to my uh, little Harley figurine, actually, Excellent. which she's also like a little miniature. Cool. Let's look at some minis. Oh, 
We can do that. Hey, why don't we look at some minis? <laughs> <laughs> These are ones that were um, from our group, right? Yep, from the our Painting Happy Little Minis. Painting Happy Little Minis group, which Facebook everyone group. can join. Um, it's really great because you get the community of talking about minis and painting, and you can get tips and share what you're working on, and here's some of the pieces from our group. Check yep. it out. Uh, one thing I will say as well is we I think we just passed 1,400 members. What? Yeah. That's exciting. Ooh. Thanks, everybody. Uh, and so we've started talking about a 1,500 member giveaway. Oh, yeah. And you and know the giveaways are always good. So yep. tell your friends, get them to come join the group. Join the group. And then, uh, you know, share the wealth. Of we can get there a little bit cool faster. Stuff. Yeah. Should I, will we save it for next, next week? We might talk about what it's going to be. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's too soon. I want to tell everybody because I'm yeah, really excited soon. about too it. Too soon. But anyway, uh, moving on focus to focus on these ones. Everybody else's yeah. matches. Uh, so Michael Bull has painted uh, this very cool knight from uh, the Pathfinder uh, deep cut range from WizKids. Uh, That's really yep, cool. Looking really good. The I like green that grass on the bottom. That was neat. Yep. Sorry. That's okay. Yeah, the grass on the bottom. Did you add that? Yep. Neat. That's all added to the, the grass. I like the detail. It's working really well with the with the red. Mm -hmm. on that, yeah, I like uh, the on contrast. That yeah, that's really Looking cool. Good, Michael. Very nice. Uh, Chris, uh, last week I think we showed some photos of Chris's uh, scout troopers in in progress. Wow, look at those. But it looks like he's uh, he's finished them off now and has got um, some very cool um, squad markings on them. That looks really cool. Yeah, I think it's uh, neat. It looks like the um, sort of either brown boots or dirt on the on the shoes, mm -hmm. on the boots, on the right hand side. Uh, just yeah, that's a lot of work. That's so cool. Yeah, I just think it does a really nice job of breaking up the uh, all that white and black. Mm -hmm. Yep, very cool, Chris. Good job. Robert's been uh, oh, he's painted up a vault dweller. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> right. Oh, this I love that groundwork. Yep. That's really all the little detail. I like too on the suit, like the little shading, the wash on there. Like that looks really cool. Yep, it does look great. And look at the eyes. Look how good the eyes look. <laughs> That's my hardest problem. I just make them look like crazy people. <laughs> and the Coke bottle. Oh, look at that. That's yep. awesome. Yep, definitely. Came out really cool. good. Good work, Robert. Nice one. Uh, Robert Malik, a 72 millimeter wow. private for the United States Marines, 1814. Yeah, that's really cool. I'm loving the, the adding grass on it. Yep. That's really cool. I wonder if uh, this guy was in Baltimore in 1814 <laughs> at Fort McHenry. Hey, maybe. I think so. But no, uh, looking good, Robert. Very nice. 72 millimeter, that's about that tall. Oh, wow. Yep. That's great. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh, no, you're good. Here, you're fine. Yeah, Josh, um, so Josh painted these up, uh, and the, the focus for here was on um, saturation for emphasis. Mm -hmm. So the first part of his painting was, was to go through and paint in all of the, the shadows, mm -hmm. which are desaturated, mm -hmm. and then do the uh, the highlight, bring the highlights back yeah. up with a lot of saturated colors. That's cool. So, um, yeah, so one of the... There's like four or five different th things that you can really punch on contrast. I like it. Looks like it's metal. Oh, on like the, the axes. Oh, the axes. Yeah, yeah. they look like they're metal. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, a very nice job on those, Josh. They look great. Fantastic. Oh, Jason Sutton, and up a uh, 3D printed beholder. Look at that thing. Oh, yeah. that is scary. Like that beholder, is scary. The holders are always scary. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, I love the the green through to blue. Um, on those uh, eye stalks. That's really neat. Yeah, looking very cool. Very cool. Ancient spice miniatures. Last session, my <laughs> DM mentioned needing boats. <laughs> that's, nice. That's fantastic. That's great when you've got a, a player who yeah who li a listens. <laughs> I feel called out right now. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, what? But, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but then, uh, then uh, B actually acts on it and creates something really cool like this. They look fantastic. Yeah, that's really cool. Yep. Are those? Uh, I wonder if those are little crystals in the. Oh in wow! The 
Oh, look who did it. <laughs> Richard Ankney. Who's that guy? Who's that guy? I don't know. Dead to me. <laughs> no, it's, it's not true. He hasn't moved to Ohio. <laughs> But uh, yeah, they look fantastic, don't they? Yeah, those are really yeah. cool. Wow. He's been having a lot of fun. Yay! Okay. Look, an owlbear! Yep. Yay! So, uh, Rue, I think it was one, uh, one of Rue's first um, models posted on the in the group. Cool! Uh, right Good first choice. Yep, Rue was asking about, uh, you can see on the, um, particularly on the right-hand side there, mm -hmm. where um, some of the paint hasn't gone into the sort of the crevices the between fur, the fur, yeah. uh, so it's still white. Mm -hmm. um, he was asking about uh, sort of solutions for that. Mm -hmm. uh, and one, there's, there's a couple of reasons why that might not have happened, uh, mm -hmm. might, might not have gone in, is either if you've brushed over it. Yeah, uh, your angle, right? And, yeah, the angle yeah. of the brush. Um, and the other one is sometimes, um, Occasionally, miniatures you get a little bit of mold release or oh. oil or, or grease sort of on the surface. Oh, that's surface. interesting. So it's possible that there was some um, sort of uh, a repulsion. Something, yeah. Like, it, Something it, preventing it, it from sticking. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, but for either of those, uh, a good way to do it is to make a sort of heavy body wash, mm -hmm. which is to take a paint and thin it down with a little bit of a little bit of a wash, like a brown wash that we've got here, or yeah. Um, any of the sort of brown washes that you've got, but mix it in with some dark brown paint mm -hmm. and then use that as a wash over it. Oh, okay. Um, you could just run the wash over it, uh, but it won't give you as much depth mm -hmm. as mixing in that darker brown paint Yeah. as well will help. Cool, that's but, a uh, handy tip. Yep. But something, I, it's, it's, it can be quite tough mm -hmm. um, when you're first, first painting heavily textured surfaces Yeah. like that. Because it's there's always so much to go back and, and hit little those details. little spots. Yeah. But yeah, looking good though. But it looks great. I mean, it's a great start and it's a great piece. Big and fan I, of the owl bear. And I love the uh, the choice of the blue on those eyebrow yeah. feathers. Yeah. Yeah, I like that too. And then the little pieces going down the back. Very nice. Wow, look at that piece. Yep. That's really cool. Yep. So Don Slater. Uh, so the M A K wow. is Maschinenkrieger. Um, which is a fantastic range of so cool. really super heavily detailed model kits. I like the, like, it looks um, just battle-worn. Yeah. Uh, that's really cool. Yep. Yeah, Don's done some spectacular work there. And you, you see there's a lot of chipping mm -hmm. and rust streaks on the top. Yeah. But down the bottom, there's the chipping still, because mm -hmm. you, you get that knocking against um, rocks and um, concrete so and stuff cool. like that. But it's all of the, the dust. Mm -hmm that would be kicked up by the feet is around the feet. Mm -hmm. So it's really, really cool. He hasn't tried to put dust all over the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> or rust streaks everywhere. It's been very particular for it. But uh, yeah, beautiful work, Don. Thanks very much for posting that. Nice. Sean Horrocks has been working with uh, contrast paint. This is one of the miniatures from wow. uh, the Warcry box set from Games Workshop. Um, Looks like an extreme version of from Indiana Jones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's, yeah, it's, a, it's that plus uh, uh, Conan. Yeah, plus, yeah. Uh, plus a whole bunch of other things, but yeah, <laughs> super extreme. But uh, yeah, definitely the contrast paints are fantastic for, for those models because they've got a lot of detail, mm -hmm. a lot of um, specific, uh, a lot of um, texture mm -hmm. as well. So they, yeah. they work really well. But uh, yeah, beautiful work, Sean. Looking forward to seeing the rest of the war band. Tony Blam uh, Boudreaux, Shadow Knight diorama. Oh, Ooh, it's so looking very cool. Yep. Oh, is so. that the? Oh, look what they used. They used a, um, a T lid as the base. All right. Yep. That's yeah, really yeah. cool. And the uh, having the. Um, so is that, that actual sand, or is it just like? No, that that would be actual sand. I think. Stuff? Um, That's really cool. Actually, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, you can get um, modeling clay or uh, it might be filler, mm -hmm. um, spackle mm -hmm. kind of thing on there with uh, the sand on that top. That's great because it looks like little rocks in there too. And yep. Yeah, that's really neat. And I love the uh, the skeletons coming up out of mm -hmm. it. Yeah. They're looking great. Very cool, Jody. Uh, Will Woodward, battle ready artillery. So uh, one of the things that Games Workshop started sort of talking about when uh, they brought out the contrast paints, mm -hmm. was they started referring to um, 
sort of tabletop uh, sort of st uh, tabletop standard, mm -hmm. like the, the standard that you're happy to put it on the table and play with it. Oh yeah, yeah. They started referring to that as battle ready. Oh, cool. So, um, and they certainly encourage like people that. to use the the contrast paints for that. But um, no, this looks looks great. The uh, yeah, these are all so fantastic. The shading on the gold is uh, is looking really good. Will nice one. Yeah. Come That's on. cool. So Junebug Minis. Um, I like the colors. So this is a uh, what we're seeing there that is the shield. So Junebug's, uh, mm -hmm. this is the work in progress of the shield there for Almer and the gold. But uh, yeah, the, that rainbow progression through there would have taken a long time to yeah. paint each of those little sort of feathers in the different colors. But uh, it's definitely paid off. Looks great. Yeah, it looks really great. Very nice. Andrew Ollenbach is uh, painting up a band of freebooters for his uh, orcs. Oh, wow. I love yeah, that vehicle, that's so cool. Yeah, super Mad Max, isn't it? Yeah. That, that sort of buggy thing at the front with the, uh, yeah, with the boat. Yeah, that's really cool. Like a pirate boat. Yeah. <laughs> On the back there. That's really fun. Yeah, definitely looking great. Nice work. That's it, thank you. I think uh, afterwards we'll, uh, well, in the next hour, yeah. we'll look at the next uh, the next batch. But yeah, definitely very cool. So let's get caught up in some of these comments here. So somebody asked when you were talking about the um, how to kind of, like on the owlbear, about how to fill in those bigger spaces right. and stuff. Somebody asked, um, uh, maybe, is it maybe best for SMA areas then? I think what you were talking about um, kind of using the contrast or the wash. Like a, heavy, and other like colors a heavier and, body. Wash. Yeah, um, yeah, to fill in the smaller spaces. Uh, I'm assuming that's what you're trying to ask. So. Yep. Um, I think I. Yeah, it's Mike. Who's Mike G asking that? Yeah. Um, wanted to do a cloak with it with horrible results. Does that mean you had horrible results using it on a cloak? Um, the tough part with the, the the difference really between cloaks and fur is the amount of texture. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes you might get a lot of uh, a lot of folds. On it, like uh, just on the arm of this guy here. Oh, sorry. sorry, no, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, get off me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's quite sound. a lot of folds in this this arm here, but the large areas at the back are flatter. So um, the heavy body wash on a um, large flat surfaces mm -hmm. uh, doesn't work as well because when as it dries, you might end up with a bit of a tide. Tide mark, mm -hmm. kind of thing. Like um, a tie dye, kind of mark. Or um, what do you mean? Oh, kind of like uh, actually, if you can see here on on my palette with the yellow, the um, oh, I see. Yeah, it's kind yeah. of it's kind of thin through the middle, but then mm -hmm. it's dark around that edge. Yeah, which is where it, it has dried on that. So um, it's not completely dry, but mm -hmm. it starts to dry from those edges first. So that's what you can have. Um, so I expect that's the kind of horrible results you might have got, Mike, if you tried that. So with the larger, flatter areas, mm -hmm. um, thinner yeah. uh, washes are better. Well, and, uh, and David Moffat says, I'm not sure I've seen a good looking cloak done with uh, all with contrast. It is, it is tough to get for that reason, because of those, those flat surfaces. Yeah, they're even more difficult to layer effectively. Yeah. Um, let's see. I saw some other. Other questions? <laughs> uh, Dave Kraut says, um, Sam, I haven't played, painted or played D&D &D for several months, but I have the time and probably should. I'm pretty sure that's the common thought process <laughs> of any, <laughs> any painter or player yeah. is, you know, Hey, I have this time. Hey, and then you try to get with your friends and be like, "Would you like to role play? Let's do this." And then, yeah. then it's the uh, the trial of trying to find a time that works for everybody. <laughs> the scheduling. Yeah, yeah. Like I was supposed to join my friends that are were there on the Twitch. Um, okay. For this great campaign uh, with, with all female players, and it was going to be really cool. And I just my time kept being all over the place, and just right. you know, when you're trying to get four to five humans together. Yeah. In one place and create a thing. Yep, and do it on yeah. a regular basis. And do it on a regular basis and for 
six hours, eight hours, you know, however long a campaign might be, which usually yep. is about six to eight hours. It's so tricky and so hard, and um, and I feel really bad and feel like I let them <laughs> down because like we were like getting this momentum down and and going, and I was like sure of this and then this pops up and this and you know I, I work a few jobs and I have kids and a husband and you yeah. know so it's it's a lot a lot of juggling and sometimes you you drop some items <laughs> do you do you actually yeah. ever sleep I do sleep yeah yeah I don't think so I'm pretty sure I close my eyes <laughs> <laughs> and you wake up and, and, I, and oh, I wake up and it's a different time okay. so yeah I'm assuming I'm sleeping it sounds like yeah. the definition of sleeping yeah I'm pretty sure but resting Resting. I, I don't know that I can answer that. Okay. Right, yeah. <laughs> that's a that's a whole other question. Yeah. That's... Yeah, I know, especially now because I'm training for um, the championships and yep. and then next week I leave for um, New York Comic Con. Oh, cool. Excellent. Yeah, I'm going there um, to do some interviews for Indie Edge and also for Talking Toys. Um, I'm going to be interviewing a pretty predominant, awesome, cool dude who's huge in the comic industry and then is also also makes toys. So right. it's like a, a double whammy. Who's that? I don't know that I can say. Okay. So We'll save that for next um, week as well. Yeah. We'll, we'll put a pin in that and come yeah. back, circle uh, back around. But uh, he's definitely had some venomous characters <gasps> that are pretty cool I, I, I and knew it. things like I that. Knew it. Uh, so that was really smooth, right? <laughs> It, like, it, e if you know, you know, and if you don't, you might be Googling right now. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm really excited. Um, the first time I actually met this particular person, um, I stayed about 100 feet away from him. Right. Because it was at this uh, special show that they were shooting, and uh, he was on the other side, and I was very nervous. And because I had been a fan since I was, like, 12 years old, and... Um, had full collections of his comics, of figurines, of everything. And uh, so it was, you know, it was 12 year old me right. in that excitement, <laughs> you know, and, you know, at the time awesome. I was 30 something. So um, yep. I'm still in my 30s. I just want to make that clear. Uh, okay. uh, at least until, at least I until, thought. at least until December, I'm still in yeah. my 30s. But uh, I turned 40 this year. Oh my God. 40. Um, oh my goodness. But yeah, so he's on the other side of the room and I was very nervous. It was very nervous. Who's this? And they're shooting and they're doing this stuff. And then every time he got closer and closer, I would be like, I would just like look at the wall or like look around or like, <laughs> or uh, Amelia was with me, my um, then, you know, three year old and uh, was, was just, hey, how you doing? You okay? And she's like, get away from me. I'm doing stuff, you know? And, and I'd be like, oh, cool. Oh, look. Oh, there's a hole in the wall there. Or, you know, like whatever. And, and then eventually, you know, my uh, my now husband, um, he was just my boyfriend at the time, he was like, hey, my girlfriend's a big fan, like stuff like that. And and so he brought him over and as he came over, I'm pretty sure like my, uh, the color of my skin just slowly went from pink to red to like fire to, right. and then all of that started leaking out of my face. And um, yeah, I totally, had like a complete fangirl moment where I awesome. was crying and hyperventilating a little bit and not <laughs> speaking well. And um, and he came over and he was the nicest guy. He came over and like hugged me immediately, like to yep. thinking it would <laughs> thinking it would calm me down. <laughs> and uh, and I just you know and I told him and then uh, of course just complete diarrhea of the mouth happens where I'm like right. I just a big fan when I was twelve years old like <laughs> blah, blah. like I had this comic I had this and blah 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 you know like my whole yep. life story of my fandom of his yep. in the matter of like probably two minutes. And I'm sure, I, <laughs> and, but I'm sure he never gets that. Yeah, never. Never gets and, that. And uh, certainly not in that environment or set, probably. Okay. <laughs> and, um, and we were actually there for um, a show where it was about a super fan and then there I was, not technically the, uh, the uh, fan to not, be there. Not the super and, fan. Yeah, <laughs> and, and uh, I think one of the producers was like, why couldn't we have her? be because that <laughs> that's good and they're, and they're you know because my crying and weeping and freaking out they're like that's you know that's tv gold right there you know yeah. and um but he was totally cool and like was he hugged me and and by the way my husband has video of all of this <laughs> and photos and threatened to um send it to johnny to use for <laughs> all for the stuff and i was like instead of the interview don't. yeah <laughs> it starts off yeah, with you interviewing like him. that and then that yeah <laughs> Like, ooh, at least she's calmed down now. Yeah. 
Um, but it was great, and he was so nice. And then by the end of the day, like we were just hanging out and talking, and it was like he was a buddy, like he'd been a friend like my whole life. That's cool. And he actually sat down with my daughter. Yep. On his lap, and they drew, and we actually have that that picture up uh, in our house, and it's a little alien deal, and um, and then her scribbles around it and stuff, and it says, you know, um, dinosaur by blank and Amelia, <laughs> and uh, I'm all blank uh, and Amelia, and I mean, and he signed a comic for me, and he was just he was so cool. I mean, by the end of the day, awesome. I was fine, I was calm, like I got I got the crazy got out, out. yeah. Right. So um, so it'll be nice. So. It, Having that experience was really special and it was really intimate and cool and nice. And now that I'm going to talk to him on a professional level, at least hopefully I won't cry. Right. No. <laughs> Fingers crossed. That's the goal. Fingers crossed. Yeah, I think I might cry if he doesn't remember me. Like, you yeah, know? That, that would be if fair I'm enough. Like, I think. Hey, Natasha, and he's like, hey, cool, yeah, you're from previews, right? Like, no big deal. Like, talk your toys. Like, you know, and they'll yeah. be like, yeah, that's, yeah. that's, okay. that's yeah. who I am. That's it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, but I think I think he will. And I mean, I'm not. Either way, I'll tell him anyway. <laughs> no. You're like, hey, remember that time? <laughs> and then a grown woman cried like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I'm really excited, and uh, and I've never been to New York Comic Con, so I'm like, okay, super super pumped to go. Um, I've been the first time we went to New York. This will be my second time actually in the city. Okay. The first time was for the New York Toy Fair where I got to go up and we shot, we shot some stuff for Talking Toys. Yep. You can check it out on previewsworld.com. Uh, some cool stuff. We got to talk to some creators and um, designers and stuff of toys and see some cool features. And it was at the same center. So I have an idea of the layout, but certainly not the event itself. But right. I'm from California, so San Diego Comic Con was my big home con. So I know this is the East Coast big con. Yep. So this will be really exciting. and. Um, I'm also cool, uh, excited too, because I think some of my California buddies, cosplayer friends, are going to oh, be there coming over. too. Yeah, awesome. So that'll be cool. And I just went on like a half an hour rant right there. That's okay. <laughs> One of the things that um, I was going to say is that normally, mm -hmm. like uh, if Gretchen makes a reference to something, mm -hmm. or if uh, like previously when Rick would make a reference to yeah. something, I'd be like, nope, no idea. Yeah. Not a clue. Yay. But as soon as you, you said, I was like, well, she said, oh, I'm going to interview somebody who's done some comics and some toys, and I was like, yeah. I know who it is. Yeah. <laughs> but not well, because, I'm, anybody, not I'm because happy anybody I gave told you me. some relatability. <laughs> and I was like, yes, I know. Yeah. Finally. I had to sit there going, oh, I don't know. Yeah. You're like, very cool. Is that, is that maybe where you made this face? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what these people are talking about. <laughs> I do that all the time. Yeah, but yeah, that's generally the face. Yeah. Cool. Um, <laughs> so one thing I'm going to uh, just quickly say with the uh, some folks might have seen as I was jumping back and forth. I, I started off with this paint over here, which is the the plague bearer flesh color, and I put that on over the the yellow because I thought. Oh, this one looks like it's going to mm -hmm. going to work well, but it was just it was too close to the yellow, uh, so I didn't wasn't getting any tinting. Look how much you've it. already painted? Hmm. I haven't highlighted I have it yet. Three colors. <laughs> on my face. You're doing just fine. Three just fine. I was also talking and then reading the chat, and that's my excuse. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. And that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Excellent. Well, so you got all the browns. I'd like to. But uh, yeah, so what I, what I did was the. Uh, the green mm -hmm. was, uh, I came back and picked another green and instead went with the uh, Militarum green mm -hmm. contrast color, uh, which then thinned down a little bit with the medium, but it's worked really well, I think. It's not as uh, intense or as saturated as this one, mm -hmm. but I can come back and um, touch that up. It's looking pretty close in the, yeah. on the camera. Wow. Let's just say it looks the same. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit different, but uh, but yeah, I'm really happy with how that turned out. Worked well. Instead, so just don't forget our contest. Oh yeah, these awesome Dungeons and Dragons from uh, Gale Force Nine. You can win these one, two, three, and four pieces. All you have to do is enter in the comments, no matter where you're watching, hashtag Avernus. And that's A V E R N U S, and because it's descent into Avernus piece, um, and you can win all four of these pieces. The winner will be chosen after the show. 
So make sure you get those hashtags in. Hashtag in all the places. Hashtag the hashtags. What an amazing invention, the hashtag. It's great. Absolutely amazing. The world of digital marketing. Yeah. <laughs> it is funny. I use them. Uh, I use them probably a little bit more sparingly than I uh, mm -hmm. than I should on Instagram. You know, you can use up to thirty. Yeah, just I, so you know. <laughs> I I rarely use more than four. Yeah. Yeah. So. I like to keep everything tightly focused. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, none of them. I don't think I've ever done a hashtag Dave. <laughs> what? Hashtag, hashtag Dave. That's going to be the new one. Is that the, for the competition next week? Yeah, it's going to be hashtag, hashtag Dave. <laughs> hashtag Dave. <laughs> You're welcome, everyone. More hashtags. There we go. That's actually a hashtag. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, I mean, technically, <laughs> anything can be a hashtag. You just throw a pound sign in front of it. Yep. That's such... That symbol. Mm -hmm. The pound sign. The pound sign. Yeah. And it's... For us uh, oldies, it's the pound sign. The pound sign. But it's also... <laughs> like, it, it can be... Or the number sign. Or the number sign. Yeah. So it's like three things. It's mm -hmm. super contextual. Oh, the times they are changing. <laughs> <laughs> Got to keep up. Feeling old. I understand. But, uh, there we go. Question from Facebook. Oh, sorry. Question on Facebook? Cool. Do you both have a particular way of painting? Darks first, inner areas first, skin. I missed that, the start. Um, You're the pro, so I'll let you go first. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, not really is the best answer. Um, depends on the miniature. Depends on the... None? I'm not trying to make it difficult, but uh, there's no silver bullet. There's no, uh, no one way that's exactly right for every miniature. Um, but generally, I try and paint the either the largest area or if there's lots of um, areas that are similar sort of size, I'll go mm -hmm. for the, the lightest. If I'm using a white undercoat, I'll go for the lightest, brightest one first mm -hmm. and work up, uh, or sort of, I guess, work back. Yeah. Um, because that way you can be nice and neat with your the darker colors and mm -hmm. use those to, um, I guess, correct do the corrections mm -hmm. as you're going through. Um, typically, I'll save my metallics to the end mm -hmm. um, if it isn't a model that has lots of metallics on it. Mm -hmm. So I'm, if it has lots of gold or silver, I'd paint those first. But if it doesn't have much, I'll save those to the end. So because I would always paint black underneath those, mm -hmm. um, just to give them that extra pop. Is that orange? Ish. Um, Orangeish. Oh, I got a brighter orange if you. Yeah, uh, oh. that one right there actually. The one sticking oh, up top. So got, that yeah. one. That's probably a little nice. bit more red. But yeah, I want that. Actually, that one. that's the one. That's the ticket. No, so for me personally. One. Because yep. I'm not as good <laughs> a painter, and I make a lot of mistakes, and sometimes I don't have the right brush or detail. Um, I do the same thing. I make uh, costumes and cosplay and stuff like that. So for me, it's doing all the dark colors first, and um, and then the light. I mean, granted, I guess it does depend on the piece, because like for this one, where she's got the dress and then all the little, you know, the little designs that are going down, um, I hit, can hit those, and then I can go back over with the blue to clean up the edges. So, right, you know, because yep. um, I find I've learned the hard way through the pieces. <laughs> if I do the lighter ones, and then I end up like hitting it with the dark color, going over it, you can't really. It's hard to backtrack and yeah. cover, you know, and fix those little details and stuff. Um, so for me, it's it's dark colors first, and then into lighter only because then I can clean up the mess that I made. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then I also find too, like it helps um, with some of them when I do make a mess, like I made a little mess on her sash a little bit, like right. it got on the blue a little bit. I just take the brush and add a little water to it and then just kind of, it's almost like erasing it when it, as long as you do it like right away so it's still wet yep. and it can just kind of 
fade into the background. So yeah. that's how I do it. Cool. Yeah. There are, um, there are some folks who they, they paint a specific way and they, they use that method for every miniature they paint. Mm -hmm. um, there's a well-known painter in the UK called Kevin Dallymore mm -hmm. who paints uh, from the, literally, he works from the inside out. Oh, wow. So he starts with the thing that's closest to the center of the model, mm -hmm. which are the eyes. Mm -hmm. So he'll paint the eyes first. Oh, wow. And then he'll paint the skin and then work his way out by the layers of clothing that you can see or the armor or oh, the weapons. That's and so the last thing will be the thing that's furthest from the, the center of the model. Oh, that's really interesting. Yeah, it is, kind of, it is wild, particularly when, when you see a step-by-step -step paint job. Yeah. And it's a, like a black miniature. And, and then, then it's just, just eyeballs. eyes. Yeah. So the, the eyes are done. And like little dashes of, of white and blue, yeah. or white and brown, and that sort of thing. It's just like, wow, that's freaking that's me out. That's really cool. It's really fun. I'm going to have to check that out. But, uh, but yeah, there's no, in my opinion. <laughs> there's no wrong way. There's no, no wrong way to go about it. So I guess no, whatever works for you. It's a per personal. Yeah. There's some ways that will make it a little bit more difficult, depending on the model. But it is really just that model dependent thing. See, like now, like I did the, the blue first and obviously didn't cover up the areas that I was going to paint with the lighter shade. Right. And then um, I did the yellow on there, and then now I'm going back and cleaning up, adding the blue back in the spot. So you can see a definite definite difference. Like, this is really yep. messy and sloppy. I don't know. I was like, where's the camera and get closer? Um, <laughs> you can see it's sloppy there, but then it's, like, cleaning up really nice. Yeah. There. That's so cool. good question. It's a good have one. You, Ever uh, have y'all ever painted any of the Critical Role minis from the Steam Forge Gaming? Steamed Forge Gaming. Uh, no, no, we oh. haven't yet. Yet, it's always a yet. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Hashtag Anderson. next week. After your sport, I bet it's hard. Oh, I didn't read that fast enough to know what oh, you were sure. talking about. <laughs> uh -oh. uh. After your sport, I bet it was hard. Oh, bye, cat. I think uh, Kat said just to go to check on our boy across the pond. That's uh, Mel Bowes, uh, the terrain tutor. I've been working with Mel on a book. Oh, cool. So I think um, Kat will be back because Mel is sick today. Mm. He usually does a, has a stream on a live oh, stream okay. on Thursdays. Um, but he mentioned earlier today that he was feeling very sick, so he wasn't going to have the live stream. I am... Um follow uh, and watch um, Studio J7 on Twitch. Okay. He's a really good guy. Um, he's on there, and then his wife started to stream, too, and she does minis. Right, And she okay. does some really cool stuff. Um, I see her on her Instagram and stuff like that. I can't remember her Instagram thing right now, but, yeah, Studio J7, he's a really really cool dude. He's, he's across the pond. Okay. Too, and, um, yeah, he does minis, but then he also, um, he used to do a lot of um, foam crafting, foam Okay. Thing. And mm -hmm. like, oh my gosh, like for, he did some cool. For cosplay or like, for. Yeah, for, for cosplay. Like okay. he would do yeah. commissions or like just other pieces and stuff. And just, I mean, his painting skills are nuts. Right. Like the stuff that he does. And uh, just a really nice guy, too. Awesome. That's always, that was always a key thing for me if I'm going to watch your stream. Yeah. You know, <laughs> don't be a jerk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's awesome. a generally nice guy and really skilled and. It's just really, really cool to watch. It's just so impressive, like, being yeah. able, it's, it's, really, it's really nice to be able to watch people, um, you know, share their craft now. I mean, the, the beauty of the internet yep. is uh, definitely made being it able to see it. And it, it's because a lot of times it can, be, it can be inspiring for people to, like, to get out there and, like, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Like, um, I don't know why that popped up. But... Uh, like I had it, I think the last time that we were on, some of my friends came on to see what, you know, because yep. I posted about it. And um, some of my friends came on. They're like, oh, my God, this is so cool. Like, I didn't know people still did this. I'm going to go to the store <laughs> this weekend and go get some minis to paint. And, Excellent. And that's always fun. Yeah. It's like, yeah. That's what I love. I really love the community of this, yep. too. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely very good. I was... um. 
that's good talking with uh, some of the folks from the Nova Open um, uh, convention, mm -hmm. which is run on Labor Day mm -hmm. each year, and uh, talking with them last night about the painting competition mm -hmm. that I get to be the, the head judge at. Oh, boy. No and pressure. No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. Um, but we uh, this year, uh, we had a, like a 30% increase oh, neat. on the number of entries compared mm -hmm. to last year. And the same weekend in Texas, um, the folks at Reaper, Reaper mm -hmm. Minis, uh, Reaper were running uh, ReaperCon, and they had a huge painting competition there. Mm -hmm. And they saw like a 50% increase. Oh, awesome. In, um, in the number of entries. Oh, I love it. And then there was a painting competition at DragonCon as well, but mm -hmm. I'm not sure how, how that's that all went. That's where it was, yeah. But uh, yeah, there was there were over twelve hundred miniatures that weekend that were entered in painting competitions. Holy moly, that like, is fantastic! Or twelve twelve hundred entries, sorry. Yeah. So some of the entries are squads. Yeah. So uh, let's say two thousand miniatures entered in wow. painting competitions. Wow. In just at like at least two, possibly three conventions. Where to go, everybody? In that is fantastic. Yeah, it was definitely definitely exciting to see that sort of growth. I love that. I know I want to get my girls into it more. Yep. Oh, can I ask a question? Yep. Any particular reason that neither of you are using holders? Um, I think uh, the re well, definitely the reason that I'm not using a holder is that I uh, I, I don't really use one at home, um, and I I feel more comfortable painting like this because I I'm used to sort of indexing off that that point. I can put my little finger there. Yeah. So I sit with my pinky on it. And keep everything yeah. together in the same point. I know that I with practice I could learn to use a holder. Um, but um, I think Natasha isn't using one because we didn't. I didn't think to tell her that they were available yeah. <laughs> if she wanted to use one. Oh, they so are that's, available? That's my fault. Yeah. Um, so have, yeah, see the owlbear there? Uh -huh. Just right behind the owlbear is a... Oh. oh, it goes in it and then you can hold that. Yep, so that... No, I'm fine. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's all my fault. <gasps> I'm, the, I'm, I'm like the worst host. No, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> no, you know, I, I have good control over it and stuff. You're pretty good, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so, no, I'm, I'm fine like this. Yeah. But I know I did not know that was available. <laughs> I've never oh, used one sorry. myself. So, I mean, I mean, this is what I'm used to anyway. I have, like, a lot of control. I can, like, I'm just rotating her in my hand anyway. And yep. Yep. I mean, if it was, like, one that had a magnifying glass on it, then I might take it. <laughs> <laughs> Because then I could see a little bit better. They exist. Not have to be like this. Yep. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> Let's see. Let me take a look in the chat. Uh, they have that every year. If you're lucky, sometimes they have the winners in the shop after the con. Also helps. I live like 20 minutes away from the Reaper minis. Oh, cool. Was that nice. Josh? Uh, oh, uh, that? Garrett. Garrett? Excellent. Yeah. Cool. So I know... Um, no, you are not the worst host. I'm not the worst host? Yeah. Who is? Yeah. Probably Answer, me. Answers in the chat below. <laughs> it's me. Hashtag, hashtag Dave. <laughs> <laughs> the, second, the second hashtag, actually no, the first hashtag has to be spelled out. No, the second one has to be. The second one? Yeah, because otherwise <sighs> it doesn't count as an actual hashtag that you can click on. So it's the pound sign, number sign, or hashtag sign. And then hashtag the word. Dave. Okay. Yeah. Man, I can't keep up with you youngsters. See? Youngsters. Thanks, yeah. buddy. You're welcome. <laughs> I appreciate it. You're welcome. You're like, you're not yeah. 40 yet. <laughs> it's creeping up. There we go. I think it's almost done. It's getting there. I'm going to actually so get a little bit. Finish uh, this before me? I know. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to say that. Um, just get a little sort of bit of vibrancy back in the um, in the uh, green, yellowish green skin. Mm -hmm. so I'm gonna take a bit of. Um, I really like that green. It looks really cool. Yeah, yeah, it is neat. I'm just gonna do a little bit of experimenting. A really saturated yellow. I feel like I'm painting phoenixes on this, or like a weird monster. This one kind of looks like an alien. It does look really cool. Yeah. <laughs> We can, Unintentional get, art. I'll sign this later and we, we can give it away. this off. We can yeah. give it away. Give it away, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll keep going. Go be like, awesome. we don't want this. <laughs> we'll use it to put our paints on. <laughs> Second prize. 
Second prize goes to <laughs> everyone who puts in the contest for hashtag hashtag Dave. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yep. There we go. <laughs> you can win this, please. My scribble page. <laughs> the um, this might make you chuckle because uh, I've seen how actually often seen, do you put um, your fingers in the wet paint area? How often do I do it? Um, I don't know. Once or twice a session. Then I wipe it. So if you see me like wiping like that, where I'm not not wiping the brush, just my that, finger. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> Your secret is revealed. It is. It is. So you're saying so you, I'd get a but, little uh, chuckle. Yeah. Uh, so there are some. Oh, there, there are a lot of obviously a lot of fantastic miniature painters around. Mm -hmm. um, there's some miniature painters who um, they'll spend a couple of weeks on a on a miniature. Mm -hmm. Um, or a diorama setting or you know, some cool scene uh, and it'll become very the piece will become sort of very well known mm -hmm. uh, but they'll be working on a wet palette that's maybe the twice the size of this mm -hmm. and so they've got their mixes there they'll yeah. keep, keep wet over the period that they're sort of working on it and at the end uh, usually if they've, they've been given some good advice or mm -hmm. some uh, good support from from one of their friends, they'll wait. They'll let that dry, mm -hmm. and they'll sign it and send it off to them and oh, say, "Oh, that's cool." So it is part of that. It's part of that artwork, mm -hmm. part of that that creative process kind of thing, as a um, as an addition. So, so hang while you, on while, to this. While you, were, while you were kind of joking about it, <laughs> yeah, that's it, actually a thing. Yeah, yeah, and particularly, I mean, obviously, the way that I paint, it's mm -hmm. like all over the place. Mm -hmm. it's a, Crazy jumble, but yours has artistic merit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Way beyond mine. <laughs> I don't know about that. So I think, uh, yeah, I think it'd be cool if you want to give it away to hashtag hashtag Dave. <laughs> right, um, I ordered some survival minis from Studio Minis. Cool Negan and Daryl. Ooh, an awesome. Ooh. Walt said that. Walt said that. Um, uh, and Walt's uh, shouting out a few, <laughs> few mini Kickstarters that are running at the moment, <laughs> I guess. Uh, Runeforge minis, uh, Star Hat minis. Uh, if you're interested in medieval miniatures, you can check out uh, yeah. The Baron's War. I'm, in, I'm involved in that one. So, <laughs> but uh, self promotions fine yeah. here. What kind of medieval? What kind of medieval? Yeah. Uh, the um, it's the early middle section. Early 13th century. <laughs> so it's kind of early medieval. It's uh, the, the period of the Magna Carta. Some very cool. Uh, Britain, England? English, yep. It's kind of the, the first English Civil War. And it's also the same time that um, a lot of, the, well, quite a few of the characters or the, the stories from that period uh, led to the creation of the Robin Hood myth. Ooh, cool. Because it uh, involves Prince John. Then King John, and a few of the other Johns. No, sorry, sorry. <laughs> so Prince John became King John when Richard the Lionheart died. But uh, God, spoilers, Dave. Spoilers. Sorry, I just assumed everybody had seen the uh, the 2010 single... Ridley Scott uh, Russell Crowe um, Robin Hood. They haven't? You don't mean the Kevin Costner? No, that would be uh -huh. the... When was Kevin Costner? Or was the that 90, one that just came out late 90s? last year? Or the cartoon? Or Robert, or Robert Errol Hood Men Flynn? in Tights? Yeah, or Errol Flynn? <laughs> or... <laughs> I'm not sure which one you might my not mom, have seen. My mom was a huge Robin Hood right. fan. Like, the Disney the, animated the books, one? Or the... No, the books, the... Uh, the story, just the story, and okay. so she. Yep. I mean, we have like in our DVD collection. There's like a whole section that's just Robin <laughs> Hood movies. That is awesome. So that's fun. Yeah, because you know when she passed away, inherited her DVD. So right. Um, 
Yeah, lots of Robin Hoods. She loved, but she loved the the Disney cartoon the most, right? Because she loves foxes. Okay, and it's a fox and yep. Robin Hood, so it's like a, a double a, win. <laughs> that's yeah. awesome. <laughs> yeah. Nice. And that's definitely good. But uh, yes, Ooh, is that? Yes, there we go. Found the black. Oop. See, am I missing? Sorry if I'm missing stuff in the chat. I'm off my glasses. <laughs> oh, I see what these kids are saying. Um, and then, and then, let's see. And then don't forget our giveaway. <laughs> let's see. Oh, those people are talking about the Reaper contest. All right. <laughs> awesome. Game Trade Media. Hashtag, hashtag Dave. <laughs> oh, so I say Game Trade Media wants it's to win thing. it. thing. Yeah. Let's see, yeah. Awesome. That is funny. <laughs> Thanks. Sorry. Nice. Okay. <laughs> I think uh, not it's sorry. my... Hashtag not sorry. Hashtag sorry, not, not sorry. sorry. Sorry, not yeah. sorry. <laughs> I'm aware of these things. Yeah. No, um... <laughs> I think it might be time for us to check out the second grouping of minis. Oh, look, that one looks like a snail. From the group. Oh, it does. That's awesome. <gasps> look, I made a snail. <laughs> it's okay. Check it out. Nope. Nope. Okay. Nope. What do you mean? I was oh, going to pick go. it up and put it over <laughs> in his. That's too late. I'm going to mix it down. Okay. The next one. Yep. Nope. Oh! I don't know. Some idiot. Some hack. Oh, that guy is terrible. Yeah. He should probably stop painting. <laughs> I've told him that t several times. <laughs> he refuses to listen. Um, but uh, yeah, so last week we painted uh, minis from the, the kick ass mm -hmm. um, board game. And so I painted, cool. the, I painted the two guys on the left, at the front of the left. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I grabbed a couple more as I was, as I was leaving <laughs> to paint up for my buddy uh, Joey. For his um, cyberpunk game, Reality's Edge, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, finished them off over the weekend. They were just as quick to paint at home as they were here. Nice. So definitely uh, show off. Yeah, definitely cool. <laughs> a lot of fun. Art Dominguez with maniacs and zombies done. Yep. Cool. Check that. So you know how we were talking about the base, <coughs> the basing and the um, grass before. Mm -hmm. um, if you notice on. These artists put them on clear acrylic bases, mm -hmm. so it's, it's kind of doesn't matter what yeah. surface he puts them on, whether he's using, he's using them for a board game or for a miniatures game or anything like that. They blend in, yeah, which is pretty cool. I haven't uh, sort of got the guts to do that myself yet, but looking good art, very nice. Oh, Michael Harris, the Whiz Kids, Kraken. Release the Kraken. Release the Kraken. But yeah, that's looking great. I think, um, I can't remember, but I think that normally the, the base for that mm -hmm. looks like that, that beautiful bright blue water. Yeah, that's really Actually cool. is uh, translucent. Mm-hmm. Um, so Michael's just added. Yeah, it's behind you. Pardon? It's behind us? Oh, okay, right here. Oh my God, it's behind us. <laughs> that's the Kraken Oh, wow, us. that's cool. I'm going to bring that over. Oh, it's huge. Yep. Oh, wow. Okay. Does it come out? No. Nope. Uh, <laughs> no. Okay. But, uh, yeah, Michael's gone along. So it's usually this sort of blue. Mm -hmm. Michael's gone along and added a lot of extra. Um, oh, that's cool. Sort of blue tinting to it to give it that really deep blue. Which looks fantastic. But, yeah, nice work on that. Michael. Oh. Cool, Fabrice is working on uh, a very cool dragon. Check this red dragon out. Oh, neat. Oh, I like the wings. Yep. They're looking great. Very nice, Fabrice. David Moffat has, uh, oh wow, painted up a whole bunch of knolls. Oh, wow. So, I know that Rick is looking at this at the moment and is very excited by these photos. <laughs> Rick loves his knolls as well, but they look great. I think these ones, um, David, if you're still in the chat, are these from um, North Star, from the uh, Frostgrave range? I think they might be. But they look uh, look really good. Very nice. Uh, 
Chris Hood. He's painted up this Reaper figure. The shell. A female rogue. All right. Yeah. I love that she's ready to start hurling that uh, grappling hook. Yeah. Climb onto the roofs, sneak along, start stealing things. But yeah, that blue on the on the cloak looks wonderful. Nice work, Chris. Uh, yep. Oh, there we go. David Moffat says yes. They're from <laughs> North Star. That's a fun one. <laughs> that is cool. I like how the knuckles are bloody. Yep. Nice work, Drew. That looks. Uh, that's that's definitely fun. Mm -hmm. That looks cool. That's a lot of fun pieces. Oh, cool. Chris Gorka. So from Micronauts, Acro Year. I saw this model. It was it was just really, very cool. It's really clean. I think the, yeah, I'm a big fan of. I, I like sort of dirty and scuffed up minis mm -hmm. and weathered minis, but I also really like the clean, clean painting style. And Chris has done a really fantastic job. Yeah, there. it looks really great. So look at the shading on the in the fans mm -hmm. and the, that look at little his legs sort of edge too. highlight. Yep, you can see, yeah. really see the muscle definition. Yep, that definitely looks cool. But no, nice work, Chris. Very cool. Spain, Eric Ryan. Um, it's uh, from the Warhammer Age of Sigma range, one of the Night Haunts. Oh, wow. The cool skeletal, skeletal slash zombie horse. And uh, fantastic white riding it. Yeah, it looks great. Nicely done. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, wow. Sorial. Look at the purples. Rise of the like that, I like the, the, just those colors are really cool. Yeah. Yep. Holy moly. Check out that one. The, I love the, yeah, I love the purples mm -hmm. for sure. And I like the, that the, um, the focus mm -hmm. for the one on the left has, um, is around that face. Yeah. So it's, it's it, talk, when we were talking about the saturation mm -hmm. and desaturation before, it's got that kind of thing going on. That's lovely saturated pinks and the, yeah, the bone at really the front. Cool. Yeah, it looks really nice, Brian. And I love the, the guy on the right as well, that the fade for that um, sort of the greenish ethereal kind of look coming up into the cloak. But yeah, very nice. Dustin Van Brie, throw back to the 90s. I was wondering if this means that, that Dustin was, uh, was in the military in the 90s. I'm not sure, but uh, there's some of that, um, is that the chocolate chip camo? Mm-hmm. I'm not sure, I can't remember, but it's a great looking uh, desert cam on there. Again, I love, good. I'm loving the grass. Loving those, gra those loving grass Loving the little details, the little yeah. Tufts. Just, they are cool. You know, it's a, just those cool little add-ins that really just bring it all together and make it yep. its its whole piece instead of just, you know, the mini itself. It's yeah. really cool. They look uh, looking great there, Dustin. Oh, Josh has been working on an illithid. Holy sure. moly! Look at those. Those flames. I just like the the contrast, the colors, the, the it pops so yeah. much. Yep, the blue and the orange mm -hmm. looks great, doesn't it? Yeah, and that's those really great. Sinister red eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Tucked away in the in the blue there. But yeah, looking good, Josh. Very nice. Mark Maxwell. Somebody picked up something at the uh, the dollar store. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going, I wonder if Mark's the uh, the kind of guy who likes to celebrate Halloween all year round. One of my friends, one of my friends, Joanne, is a is a huge Halloween fan. Mm -hmm. So uh, usually I start seeing Halloween posts from her on Facebook around about March. <laughs> so she gives a, a little bit of a break between like January, February, but uh, but otherwise, <laughs> I suspect Mark is the same kind of guy. But he's done a really really beautiful job, and I love that uh, the the purple glow. From the eyes there. Looks great. Good work. And Colin Jessup is in painting squigs. So squigs are um, just crazy, they're basically just mouths mm -hmm. and with legs. With yeah. Huge fangs and legs. My friend's wife board. paints a lot of those yeah. on her Instagram. Yeah. Cool. She did like a really cute green one the other day and it was yeah. just like so fun. Nice. Like they look terrifying, but also fun. Oh, yeah. They're, they're <laughs> completely terrifying. Yeah. But uh, yeah, these are looking great, Colin. Very nice. Good work. Last one. Last one. Oh yeah. So Kevin West. Uh, this is going to be his first project for the page. Cool. So this is a, a dwarf. This is a Grumbrindle. 
So Games Workshop has a monthly magazine called White Dwarf, mm -hmm. and the dwarven word for white well, dwarven word for white dwarf is Grumbrindle. Oh. So he's a character that they've had sort of in the background for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, and this was one of the I think this mini was from the late '90s, early 2000s. Cool. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be gonna be great there. I look forward to seeing you uh, also paint the uh, the beer that's leaking out of the barrel there. <laughs> But yeah, looking good. Excellent. Good job, everybody. Yeah. It's always cool to see what everybody's been working on. All the, the variety, yeah. just the sheer variety of different miniatures. Mm -hmm. uh, and the approaches and the color schemes. It's definitely, uh, definitely very good. So thank you very much. So if you want to, uh, if you aren't a member of the Painting Happy Little Minis Facebook group, become a member. Become a member. <laughs> Come along. Uh, hit hit the little join the group button, and then uh, there's a bunch of us that'll be racing to uh, to hit approve and get you in as part of the group. Uh, we've got lots lots of great painters there who are very happy to share their <laughs> their knowledge and their techniques. Um, Lots of uh, people who have just recently started painting as well, who are sharing some of their first minis. Um, we have a lot of great mini painters in this group. We do indeed. It's really exciting. It's great to see communities build. Tiffany at Gale Force 9 wants to know when you're going to paint little Lulu and if she can have it when you're done. <laughs> um, I'm not sure um, when I'm going to paint. Probably pretty soon. Um, how much time have I got? I have half an hour. So you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> I believe in you. Yeah, I think I can. I'll give it a go. I'm not sure. Let's have a look and see what Lulu is supposed to. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's just so everybody knows. Get to it. Yeah. This the that's the oh, color scheme for Lulu there. Oh my gosh. Yep. It's really cute when you can see it like that. It's hard to tell sometimes in the minis what the details are until it's yeah. got some paint on it. Yeah, and this one's—it's got a lot of texture on it. It's a lot of that, a lot of that fur and the mm -hmm. um, the wrinkles and so on. So I think, uh, yeah, I'll just probably hit that with one of the contrast paints. Oh, more paint! No. Oh, oh look, more. More paint. More paint. Oh, what's this one? This one is not very good, but yep. There you go. Ooh, that's really dark. Cool. Is that like a dark metal? Uh, yeah, it says yeah. Um, cobalt red, but it's like a, it's almost like a brown red. Okay. Like a dried blood. Yeah. Oh, that's the same one. Do you need a brighter red or? No, no, no. I have a couple of reds here. Just reds to mess around with? Just discovered that there was more. <laughs> I looked over the boxes and suddenly there was more paint. Try them all. And the boxes I was looking over are part of our giveaway. So make sure you hit hashtag, hashtag Dave. No, I'm just kidding. No, no. Hashtag. <laughs> uh, Avenus. Avenus. And it's A-V-E-R-N-U-S. And you can be entered to win a list, a list, this, and this from Dungeons and Dragons Gale Force 9. The Descent into Avernus set. Yep. Definitely very cool. Okay. I'm going to do her face first. I'm going to do something with no. her dress more. I think I might do a wash on it. Okay. Because I'm liking it. I kind of gave her... So she's got like these bold colors here. Yep. And then I kind of... All the little yellow, I kind of turned it to like flames, right? A little bit, but I want to give her a little more dimension. Like I'm going to change that underskirt a little bit. Okay. But I wanted those to kind of be the baseline. Yep. And then add some more dimension to it to make it look a little more flowy. Right. Yeah, I think At least that's the idea. That's the idea. That's the plan. <laughs> I think the uh, yeah a wash, um, like a deeper blue wash will give mm -hmm. you. Uh, what have we got? Wash wise, brown wash, shadow wash. Flesh wash, shadow wash. I don't know. Flesh wash. I don't think we have a, a blue wash in that range, but no. 
find something appropriate. Over here. And Mike Becker said the Avernus book is so good. Actually. Yeah, and I'm using the Gale Force 9 paints yep. on my piece. Just in case anyone was curious. All of these cool colors. But, uh, yeah. So this is like slightly greenish blue. There. Oh, okay. If you want to try that one, probably thin cool. that down a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, Thanks. Before jump, dropping that on. Someone was asking about paint. Oh. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's what Johnny was talking about then. No. Do do do. I'm a newbie. What paints do you recommend? That is from Ron Alec. No, Al, Al Cock. Okay. Uh, Ron, did you say? Ron, yeah. Ron, cool. Um, Ron, the kind of the, the standard answer that, that I give um, everybody is that there are lots of great paint ranges that have um, all have like slightly different shades and different um, groupings of paint. Mm -hmm. um, like, uh, for example, the Reaper paints. Uh, the Reaper paints, uh, some of them have a, a triad system mm -hmm. where you have a like a base color and then a darker color that you can shade with and a lighter color you can highlight with, mm -hmm. kind of designed into that triad. Um, the main thing I, I'd always suggest is pick a, paint, uh, pick a brand of paints to start with that you have uh, in stock at your local oh, yeah. uh, gaming store. So that way it's very easy to replenish um, that. Yeah. Um, I don't recommend you go out and buy an entire set, entire range. Just get the basics, basics first. Basics, yeah. Yep. So, blue, green, red, yellow. And a lot of times they have really great brown. starter kits, like already exactly. set up. Like you can um, get they they'll already like depending on the level. Like obviously they have big, huge, giant kits, but they also have like when I. Um, was home with an injury and I had to recover and I wanted to something to do and why not paint minis because it's yeah. awesome. Um, I got a kit that I think had maybe had 10 colors. Yep. Like not even that many like in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, not sure. that many. <laughs> but um, but it was really great because it had like a couple of washes in there and then a lot of base colors and then just some alternate colors and it wasn't that expensive. It was like affordable and um, and then I got some basic brushes and a few different sizes and like Yep. I was good to go, and it, it's a really great starter kit. Like so, for me at the time too, I was still learning about yep. painting minis and stuff like that, and it was just really great. So, I mean, check your local game store um, and go in there, and you always talk, talk to them. Say, hey, I'm just starting out. Like, what's a good starter kit that you recommend? And they could be like, hey, here's this one. It's really popular, or this one's good, or this one, you know, whatever. Um, but sometimes they also might say the same thing like Dave says, like make sure you get ones that can be replenished. So yep. if it's, don't buy a kit that is at the end of its life. Right. Or, uh, you know, a yep. company that maybe, you know, mm. is not making them at all anymore or the company's not yep. there anymore and they're, you know, on sale. But they could be on sale because you're not going to have those paints again. So, yep. yeah, definitely. Uh, so, something's available at your local local store, but yeah, those the starter sets, the nine or ten paints in a starter set, is definitely a great way to to Keep go. Keep going, yeah. Um, and then experiment with other paints that are available in your your yeah. local store. Um, like add add to it. Yeah, because you'll find that um, sometimes you'll find that you like the might like the black from one particular range, or you like the white from another range. Or um, I'm a huge fan of the metallics from. Um, or at least the silvers from um, the Army Painter. Mm -hmm. So the, their gun metal and their chain mail and the um, shining silver are fantastic. Uh, hmm? Tinny tin. Tinny tin. Uh, Rick is a big fan of tinny tin, or at least saying the words tinny tin. <laughs> um, tinny tin is a great uh, deep um, bronze sort of color from uh, Vallejo. Oh, cool. Um, I use uh, quite a few Vallejo paints because the Vallejo game color range are essentially the same set of colors that uh, were the old Citadel range from mm -hmm. Games Workshop. So when I worked for Games Workshop, we used Citadel paints all the time, mm -hmm. and I had a lot of paint recipes that I was used to. Um, and when they changed, I was like, ah. Oh. No. What so, do I do now? <laughs> yeah, so I moved to the Vallejo game color range so I could still use my same paint recipes. Mm -hmm. 
But uh, and then through that, I found a lot of other colors that I'd never used before that I'm really uh, excited about using. Starting out looks scary but fun, not knowing what colors to use and wondering how it will look. Yep. Yep. You nailed it. Yep, that's, it that's exactly <laughs> that's it. it. Yeah. If you're um, one of the things as well is uh, if if you're a little bit nervous about um, painting and you're like nervous about painting um, I mean, models like. Zariel here or Thavius Krieg um, are really heavily sort of detailed minis. Um, grab some of the the fantastic uh, WizKids range or some minis, some of the Reaper Bones minis, because um, those minis are about two dollars each, two dollars, three dollars each. Um, so if so, you screwed up, it's not a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's exactly where I was going. With yeah. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, you can uh, practice color schemes. You can. You don't even have to paint the entire miniature. You can just try something out on the front of the miniature. Oh yeah. Then next time around, you turn it around, paint the back of it a different color scheme. So that's a fun advice. I like that. Yeah, yeah. It's one of those things that you, you don't always have to have to finish the whole thing. Yeah, to get value from it. Um, that's one. That's a good tip. I'll probably do that with my kids. Yeah. If you want to. Uh, if you want to practice painting eyes, pick up a beholder. You calling me out right now? No, no. I'm just, oh, are you about to paint eyes? No. Okay, no, no, no. no it's just, because I'm so <laughs> terrible. At it. No, I wouldn't call you out on that. I'll have to. I'll have to take a picture of my um, little rogue pirate woman that I painted while I was on medication. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> and her her check, eyes are. And check those eyes. She's very excited. <laughs> I'll take a picture and post it in the group when I get home. <laughs> Excellent. That'd be great. Granted, I can find it in my daughter's room. Right. But, uh, yeah. yeah. I was gonna, no, just saying that the beholder has lots yeah. of eyes. So it makes oh, it yeah. better, better for practicing eyes on than, like, this guy. He yeah. Was, he's not, not great for practicing eyes on, but uh, let's see if we can paint I something there. can't even see her eyes. Um, I'm gonna switch to a smaller brush. This color is so, so great and so pigmented that like, okay. So this color uh, that I'm using is called uh, Cabian Crimson. Okay. Is this it? Is this the one? Maybe that's yep. the one. Oh, it looks like. No, it, no, it's not. Oh, Sorry, no, it's my bad. It's the glistening blood. Oh. Okay. And let me tell you, like, so on on the palette itself, it looks okay. It looks like I spilled nail polish or something. Okay. But actually applied to this, like I started and it was just kind of like her jawline yeah. and it looks like she had blood like okay. on her face. Wow. That's cool. It picks up really well putting it on the piece. Excellent. Oh, she does have eyes. <laughs> I can't see. And while your miniature may have eyes, you don't always have to paint them. No. Thank goodness. <laughs> Imagine trying to paint her little eyes. <laughs> like, I know. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. I can't even see it. I only can see it right now because her whole face looks like she's just covered in blood. And then there's two sockets that I'm assuming is where her eyes go. Yep. Okay. Has everyone in the chat entered into the contest? It is not hard. Hashtag. Avernus. Avernus. I like it when I say hashtag and then he says it. It's great. Uh, and these but are great I, I, I could, the great series from Gale Force 9 of the Dungeons and Dragons. And you got some of the pieces that we are painting today, along with this big, giant one, uh, Zariel. Yep. And uh, we we're hoping for Dave to, you know, okay, stop okay. slacking and get to okay. painting it. But I'll, I'll get it done. I mean, I'll get it done now. Mind you, he's already finished with his one piece. And moving on to another one. Where, where are they? Yeah. yeah. You've got yours oh, is there. Is. Oh, okay, yeah. There There's your. The box. Right here. But yeah, super easy to enter. And then don't forget, um, if you're just tuning in, we have a great Facebook group um, full of community posts and helpful hints, tips, tricks, and uh, photos of people sharing their happy little menus. Um, and it's, you know, you can find it on obviously our Game Trade Media Facebook page. Um, the link is on there, right? Like people, yep. yeah. Um, For sure. And it's also a source where you can find giveaways that are not part of the live show. That is true. I'm okay. just full of facts. <laughs> hey, fact lady. Hey. Well, let me give you the scoop. 
funny. <laughs> Oops. Oh, so glad that dry, dry. Forgot I painted her face and I just grabbed her by the face. Oh, there you oh. go. Whoops. <laughs> ah! That's why Kat's going to say you need a, uh, need the a holder. The holder? Yeah. yeah. Sorry. So Lulu is painting up super quickly. Stop showing off, Dave. No, it's not me. It's the paint. Yeah. The cool thing is that so hopefully it'll dry before the end, and I can come back and do a couple of quick highlights. Um, maybe paint a little bit of pink inside the ears, mm -hmm. which would be fun. Are those horns on her? Oh, they are. Yep. I think I'm going to mix this kind of bronze with the red for her horns. Oh, that'd be cool. I mean, hopefully it comes out cool. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> it'll be fine. It'll be it's fine. on fire, but it's fine. <laughs> it's all so, fine. So, so, I think my daughter and I are saying <laughs> about stuff, especially when we're gaming. <laughs> right. <laughs> like something goes wrong, we like clearly have to get out of it. <laughs> right. So you're like, it's cool, it's fine, it's on fire, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Nice. It'll be just fine. You'll okay. get out of it. There we go. Uh, Lulu is a holophant, holophant, so H-O-L-L-Y, fant. So uh, a crazy was, elephant yeah. demon looking oh, yeah. thing. It says, Lulu is a holophant who has lost most of her memories. Holophants are gen gentle, stalwart creatures native to the upper plains. Good aligned deities and angels use them as messengers and helpers. Aw, see where that turn is? You know, because normally elephants have, they'd never forget. Yeah. But the holly foot apparently forgets. It's, it's forgotten. Let's see what they did there. Because the brain is so much smaller and being in this tiny, tiny body. There we go. So pop her on the spinner there. And when uh, <gasps> when she dries, I can come back and do some highlighting. Now I get to come back to um, Thavius. Right. She's looking pretty neat here. And so I'm just going to read the Mac of Thavius as well. What color did you use for Lulu? Uh, Skeleton Horde uh, was the contrast color that I used there. So just pop it under the close game there. David says, D&D is amazing. I only played for about five, six months and got overwhelmed by DMing on the same day for two groups with two different hardcovers. But at the time, it was super awesome to listen to everyone's creativity and how they would perform in certain events. Yeah. Um, some people completed modules, were extremely unexpected. Uh, I thought the guy who played it before, but he hadn't, and I wouldn't want to spoil it. Right. <laughs> That's really fun. Excellent. Wait, you only oh. played for five, six months and you were already DMing? That's impressive. That's impressive. I wonder if you started out crazy. like started out and a little DMing. crazy, yeah. No. The uh, when I first, very first time I played D and D, uh, it was our our DM's first mm -hmm. time. He hadn't played before, uh -huh. so it was just we were just straight into it. But uh, he was DMing okay. and with two player characters. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them was a first level play. dwarf uh, fighter, mm -hmm. which was me, and one of them was my friend who was a first level. Uh, halfling Thief. Mm -hmm. uh, this before the Rogue class. Mm -hmm. And we played uh, an adventure called um, The Glacial Rift of the Frost Giant Jarl. Jarl oh. Uh, which was designed for like six to eight characters of seventh to ninth level. Mm -hmm. And they, we were two first level characters. Yeah. So there was, there was a lot of fudging that went on <laughs> during the course of that to avoid being killed by Frost Giants. <laughs> but we made it through. We... Uh, Freed the storm giantess, and she helped us out quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so we survived. But uh, yeah, it was one of those those things. Like oh, I probably shouldn't have done this, but anyway, <laughs> <laughs> let's keep going. This is a terrible going. idea. Yeah, we're there like we ten, I think. But it was great. Nice, a lot of fun. And yeah, we got Johnny. Michael uh, Harris said they uh, started started as a DM also. Over 40 years ago. Oh, cool. That's awesome. Excellent. 
the uh, I think I'd be too nice as, as a, DM. a DM. Yeah. yeah. I think uh, I like, think you'd, oh, well, you know, unless I think you'd start off like that. Yeah. But then And then I get jaded over time. Well, your your players <laughs> would keep doing things that were just dumb. Yeah. Or we're off like we're time wasting or like off yeah. um, adventure. Well, I don't want you to die, but, too but bad. you know. Yeah. Sorry. I'm feeling kind of vindictive today. You're dead. Yeah. You're dead. Look, I gave you seven chances. Yeah, right. <laughs> but and your death save failed. I'm sorry. Yeah. You were dead. I'm cool. This. Not intentionally how we wanted it at first, but I kind of like how her hair is coming out now. How it turned out. Yeah. Cool. At first, I was trying to get it like a little darker, but I like it that it's a little. It's not. It, I, I just think it fits better. Right. A little more dimension to her. Weren't working so well. Yeah. There okay. we go. I'm just gonna. Actually, I'll save this for the very end. The final thing, but um. Get some more red in her face. <gasps> you know, oh, that's no, no. I didn't bring it. Oh no, I did. Fantastic. So for when I'm painting like bronze and copper mm -hmm. and that kind of thing, I really love to use this this color from Pans the Vallejo Panzer Aces range. This mm -hmm. is the um, United States Marine Corps tank crew color. Oh, cool. So from uh, World War II in the Pacific. But this color is fantastic for uh, verdigris mm. on your bronzes and stuff like that. And because Thavius Krieg has some verdigris on his uh, paint job on the box, I thought I'd add some in. It's a nice touch. Yeah. So let's pop that in the corner there. It's so tricky making sure you get all of this painted. Like, you're painting through it and you're thinking you're getting all of it, and then you turn back around and then you turn it back around, and you're like, oh, there's a white there's spot, that there. spot there. Yeah. Yep. Son yep. of a gun. That can be tough. <laughs> and when, when the paints dry, they shrink mm. so that they can like really adhere to the, the model. So sometimes, yeah, you, you have painted it. Yeah. But when it dries and shrinks, it disappeared. You lose, lose that little tiny bit. Uh, darn it. That's my excuse anyway. <laughs> That's my story that I'm science. sticking to it. It's science that ruins it. <laughs> ah, let's see. I'm just going to paint that Ooh. all over there. And then let's just come see. back and use my finger to just take that off some of the highlights. Okay. Now I can paint the edge of his base. I have a friend who always paints the edges of his bases uh, last. Mm -hmm. It's the very last thing that he does. And he calls it the victory lap. Yeah. Once around the model. But you know that you've, you've finished the model then. It's all done. I like that. Here we are in the final eight minutes of the show where we go quiet. Yeah. Where we're trying to uh, <laughs> get it all done. So you were about to make a comment about it, weren't you, Leona? No. You guys are awful. No. You guys are awful quiet in there. We're running out of time. Okay. Because now I have to go and do the the victory lap or the basing on uh, Lulu. Okay, there we go, there he is. Oh, those eyes look funny. Don't forget to contest. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like. And just while I'm painting the, uh... no, actually I think uh, Johnny has just, uh, just come in. It had to be the, oh, this little thing that says winner on it. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And the winner. Oh! 
is David Kraut. David Kraut. Congratulations. You have won. Woo. Woo. Congratulations. So uh, it says here, send us a message with your mailing address, and we'll get these out to you. So one of uh, Silva uh, Vira Savikas, yep. uh, Thavius Krieg, Lulu and Slubber Chops, and uh, Zariel. It's very cool. Congratulations. Okay, I'm I'm not actually going to mess around with the base there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Zariel as well. So the I'm other um, the other minis are uh, resin, I believe. Uh, but the cool thing with Zariel, Zariel is hard plastic. Oh, wow. So check that out. Zariel comes on a sprue together. there, which is really neat. Um, and also inside here you get a... Uh, click the series assembly instructions. So how to assemble Zariel in uh, 10 easy steps. Under here. Cool. So wings go together. Sections there, all the way through. So there are only there are ten pieces. So, so yeah. So good luck. Really fantastic. <laughs> good luck putting that together. Ah, it'd be easy. Be easy. There's a base, uh, and there's also a uh, clear flying stand there. So oh, cool. you can sort of set that in the center of the base, and then that connects uh, right. Right up the middle, I think. No, just, uh, yep. So between the knees on um, ah. Zariel. So, but yeah, beautifully detailed as well. Now, when you have pieces there. like that that you have to put together, yep. do you put it together and then paint it? Or do uh, you paint the pieces? This one? Um, like no, normally with uh, models that you assemble, typically I'll put it all together. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you have... Um, things that are going to be better off if you have them separate. And I mm -hmm. think in this case, I would actually keep... Where's the instruction sheet? I'll show you, it'll be easier to show you here. So the, um, the wings here, mm -hmm. I would keep them separate uh, mm -hmm. and paint, them, paint the two of them separately. Mm -hmm. um, so Zariel's... I would imagine because his body, so it's easier to paint yeah. his body, right? So... Um, yeah, so it's easier to get to the back of the, the body and the arms. Yeah. Uh, and also to get to the front of those wings. Mm -hmm. It's going to be much easier. But the color scheme on Zario looks like this. Is that a little bit too close? So, yeah, the wings and the, the body and armor are, are different enough mm -hmm. that it's, it's going to be fine to have them, to be painting them separately. But, uh, yeah, it looks very cool. And I love that little, the little halo around the, the head. Looks great. Um, we have this here just in case I painted, uh, finished those others before we got going so I could clip, clip them out. And I, I asked Johnny if he had a file handy for me to file some of the mold lines off. Oh, yeah. Uh, and he gave me this one. <laughs> well, not, if you know you want to escape from jail, whatever. Yeah, I'm not saying it's too big, but... There, there it is compared to Lulu. Sa sadly, <gasps> sadly, I would not be able to uh, file anything, any miniatures with this. Thanks, Johnny. So, cool. Uh, I just have... like to say, I just did her eyes, and it looks really cool. <laughs> right. Top yeah, stuff. I did, like, I just put silver on there, and then let it dry a little, and then I put red around it, so now she has silver okay. eyes. Oh, awesome. Come on. Very cool. Oh, see if you can see it. Problem on the spinner. Can it? Oh. oh yep. Are we done? Well, almost. Four minutes. Four, four minutes. minutes. Four minutes. You'll see it, see it in two. Two minutes. <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very much so. So, it's going to mix a little bit of green into her base. Almost, almost. Almost. We'll be there in a Try second. Trying to get my victory lap in. Yep. Okay, so. I just yelled that, sorry. <laughs> As I mentioned before, uh, we are, we've just, I think we've just passed 1,400 members in the Painting Happy Little Minis um, Facebook group. Uh, so if you have other friends who also enjoy painting minis, uh, bring them along. 
uh, and join in the group. When we get to 50, uh, 1,500, we'll have a competition uh, for something very special, very unique, never before done in the history of painting Happy Little Minis. <gasps> I say that, I could be wrong. I feel like you're making it up. Yeah. I just realized the other the day as well, is I'm, I'm coming up on two years. Two yeah. years on this show. I can't, right. be, can't believe you guys have tolerate, tolerated me for so long. <gasps> there we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's still more I want to do on her, but I think that's pretty good. Yeah. And the the wash came out pretty cool. I ended up putting it um, not just on her blue, but on the purple. Okay. Yeah. Too. And then uh, on the little her little buddy. How much? Closet. Is that the? Yep. Yeah. That's the crazy character name. Yeah. Can you see her? Can you see her eyes? I don't know if you can see it. She has silver eyes, though. She has silver eyes. Look into her eyes. Yeah, look into her eyes. That's also yeah. And see, like, look, you can see. I can see all the little spots that have dried up. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We're always much more so critical cool. of our own work, though. I love his mustache and man bike. <laughs> <laughs> it looks great. It is funny. Oh, and is that what you were talking about when you used the green on here on his little yeah. scepter? Yep. That looks really cool. Yeah, that was the. Like it's copper and it's rusted a little bit. Yep. Yeah. And I'll bring in a faint roller. <laughs> Yay. Well, uh, actually, on that terrain book that I'm working on with Mel, mm -hmm. uh, we just went through and did a section on uh, materials and tools. Mm -hmm. And uh, he sent me through a whole bunch of photos of the tools that he uses. And there were several files in that sort of yeah. that sort of size. So when you're carving, um, like high density foam and uh -huh. things like that, yeah, perfect for that. But not so good on no minis. There we go. Nice. Just slide her around a bit. There we go. Okay. Yay! Awesome. So yeah, a little bit of highlighting will um, help pick out Lulu's uh, features. But right. otherwise... Mine looks like a little kid painting. There <laughs> we go. No, no, no way. <laughs> I'm out of practice, y'all. I'm sorry. The, tough, the toughest part and the most important thing to learn mm -hmm. with painting is that... Is, is being comfortable when you bring those, bring two colors together, yeah, and getting that, that uh, where they meet, to, mm -hmm. to work for you, yeah, it is. Um, well, it's it's a, and I don't, I don't have a really fine, yeah, brush, and yeah, you're all good. You're all that's good. my <laughs> reasoning. It looks fantastic. Yeah, but um, my excuse. So I just want to say uh, thank you very much, Natasha, Thanks for joining for me. On, me. Uh, I'm glad I could be here today. Yeah, it was very cool. It was really fun. I haven't done this in a while, and I really, you should I enjoy back, it. Uh, well, I'll be back in next time. I like it. But, uh, <laughs> so we today we're painting D&D uh, &D Collector Series uh, Descent into Avernus from Gale Force 9. Uh, some very cool minis. Uh, definitely go and check them out. Mm -hmm. uh, and have fun painting them and playing all of your uh, Descent into Avernus and, and games. And thanks for being here. Thanks yep. for being here and uh, hanging out with us in the chat. I know we don't always catch everyone's comments, but we appreciate it. And uh, don't forget to go to our uh, Facebook group and join it. Yep. And show us your minis. And be we fantastic. could, uh, your minis could be featured on the show. Yeah, that'd so. be great. Yeah. So we will uh, see you again next Thursday. Don't forget to like, subscribe, Eastern. share like with subscribe, your friends. Click the bell, ding beep, the beep, dong. Beep, bing, bong, bong, bong. Yeah. <laughs> Life's better with sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> it is too. <laughs> So uh, thanks, everybody. I'm Dave. And I'm Natasha. And we'll see you at the game store. <laughs>